So, hello guys and welcome to the fifth tutorial of uh, using Visual Basic and today I'm going to teach you about how to um, right, how to use arrays in Visual Basic and so first off, start off, I start off Studio Visual Studio and here we go so what an array is, is it's a array list and array list is you declare array list by doing this array I'm going to do is as sorry. so this is a red list and uh, this can store um, uh, like more than one string at once and you can change it by doing this you can add like uh, a lot of uh, different strings in here so let's see if I add uh, hello uh, what's no what's up uh, uh, hey, yeah, and what you can do is take console dot right. Uh, you can do console dot right line. Uh, the the string in in uh, right the first string in the Array list is then you take array list and then the which one of them and you start always start with zero in uh, Visual Studio because it's an index and you need to use zero to start from that we can say that as one so that is zero one two and yeah so. Then you can do uh, just copy this like this, ding ding, and uh, the second and the third, and then console dot reline. So there we go. So now I'm gonna run it. Is it? Oh wait. Oh, we forgot to change uh, this to one. Sorry about that, guys. Um, one and two. So now you're gonna see this. Hey, hello, what's up? And hey. So this can be useful when you want to store more than one uh, string in a in something. So always use arrays when you're gonna do that. So arrays are really good, and I've been using it a lot. And I prefer using lists, but um. Well, arrays are pretty good as well. So, thanks for watching this tutorial, guys, and I hope that you enjoyed it. And please uh, comment, like, subscribe, and yeah, feel free to uh, give us suggestions on, uh, on what we could improve in our videos and all that. So, yeah, thank you a lot, guys. Bye.